a second, I know what you're thinking. That wide-angle lift shot of the elevator was pretty cool. Yes, it was, and just what I needed to do a video clip of a bunch of people in an elevator for the intro of a video portrait I produced of a renowned songwriter, Preston Glass. I wrote uh, my first three songs on my dad's old guitar. Check him out online. He's written and produced a ton of hit songs. My script called for this scene to be shot on the bottom floor of a prestigious office building. After working out the details with building management, I was able to get their permission to bring in my crew and the talent to get the shot. I didn't want to monopolize the elevator or office space for too long a time. Even though there was another elevator available for regular office activity, I wanted to get in, get the shot, and get out. In order to do this, I knew I would have to have everything prepared in advance in order to capture the clips I needed. In this scene, my purpose was to capture a quick vertical camera lift after the elevator doors opened. This was to create the suggestion of elevator movement, kind of like repeating shapes in a fine art painting. Although this was going to be a very quick video cut, it was still very important to get a good clean vertical lift from the camera's point of view. I tried lifting the camera freehand during some advanced test shots. The results were awful. I knew a video slider would do the trick. I wasn't interested in spending five or six hundred dollars for a video slider that was needed for about a one second clip. So I did some research online and found the perfect choice in a 24 inch slider manufactured by Glide Gear. I ordered their Glide Gear DSLR video slider. This slider has detachable legs, which for my purpose was very important. Basically, it's designed to be used as a horizontal slider. However, I knew that I could easily find a way to make it work as a vertical slider. Mounting the slider onto a ball head by connecting it to the quarter 20 threaded slot centered on the unit would allow you to simply rotate the ball head to a vertical position. I chose to use a metal post that easily attached to one of the holes on the end of the slider, allowing me to hang the unit from a light stand using a grip head. I attached the camera with a floating head assembly for my camera mount and tested it in my studio to make sure everything would be copacetic. It was. On location, I simply slid the camera in one smooth action on the sled, which glided smoothly on the rails. I repeated the shot both up and down for backup, and called it a wrap. This is a great handy unit, considering its low-cost one-piece construction and no bearings to be concerned with. It's very smooth and portable. I'll be making this Glide Gear DSLR video slider a part of my remote location travel gear going forward. Yes, it sounds so simple, but you reap just what